Throughout history, every culture has its own tales of the shadowy and unknown, stories that stir up fear and intrigue. But in the dark lies the name that rings a bell so loud we can't hear her. Lilith. But who really is Lilith? Is she merely a forgotten chapter from ancient texts or something more? Was she truly Adam's first wife, as some stories suggest, defying both man and divine order? Or is she an embodiment of a deeper, darker fear, a demon lurking in the shadows of our collective consciousness? In the dusty lands of ancient Mesopotamia, the name Lilith first stirred fear. Known as a wind spirit, she was not just a simple myth, but a symbol of terror. People spoke of her as a malevolent force, a demoness haunting the night. Her legend was rooted in the dark corners of the human psyche, embodying the fears of the unknown. She was more than a mere spirit. She was a manifestation of the deepest fears. Stories told of her wrath, targeting the vulnerable and defenseless. Her presence was linked to the spirits of young women who died before fulfilling their lives. These spirits, known as Lelu and Litu demons, roamed the earth. Born from death and despair, they were believed to seek revenge. Lilith, as their queen, was the orchestrator of this terror. She was the unseen force in the dark, a nightmarish figure in ancient stories. Her name became synonymous with fear, a whisper in the night that sent shivers down the spine. In this era, Lilith's image was terrifying and complex. She was depicted as part human, part beast, a figure of nightmares. Her influence extended beyond the spiritual realm, entering the realm of physical terror. She was feared for preying on infants and new mothers, a predator in the most vulnerable moments of life. Her appearance was a mix of lion and bird, a grotesque and fearsome sight. This image of Lilith evoked a primal fear, a warning of danger lurking in the shadows. People believed she was a harbinger of death, a symbol of all that was dark and evil. Her presence was an omen of bad things to come, a constant threat to the innocent. Her legend grew with each telling spreading fear across cultures and generations. Lilith was not just a spirit. She was a nightmare made flesh, a demon lurking in the darkest corners of the human mind. In ancient Hebrew texts, Lilith's presence is fleeting, yet undeniable. Her name appears in the scrolls, a shadowy figure in the background of stories. She is not found in the lush gardens of Eden, but in desolate wastelands. Lilith is a creature of the night, a symbol of desolation and emptiness. In the book of Isaiah, she is mentioned briefly, a haunting image in a barren landscape. This single mention in Hebrew lore only adds to her mystery. It paints a picture of a demoness dwelling in places no one dares to visit. Lilith's name in these texts is a whisper of something sinister, something to be feared. In these ancient scrolls, Lilith is associated with desolation and ruin. She is a figure synonymous with the absence of life, a demoness who thrives in the absence of light. Her presence in these texts is a chilling reminder of the dark side of existence. The cryptic nature of her mention in the book of Isaiah only serves to deepen her enigma. It leaves more questions than answers, adding layers of dread to her legend. Her portrayal in these texts is vague yet terrifying, a figure lurking in the shadows of the unknown. In medieval Jewish folklore, Lilith's story takes a dark turn. Here, she is portrayed as Adam's first wife, a narrative steeped in rebellion and darkness. This portrayal of Lilith is a departure from her earlier depictions. It paints her as a figure of defiance, challenging the celestial order. Her refusal to submit to Adam leads to her departure from Eden. This act of defiance transforms her into a symbol of ultimate terror. She becomes a demoness, bringing death to the cradles of the innocent. Lilith's portrayal in these stories is one of spite and vengeance. 
It marks a terrifying chapter in her saga, a narrative filled with darkness and terror. In these stories, Lilith's defiance is a key theme. She is depicted as a figure who refuses to be subservient. Her rebellion is a challenge to the established order, a defiance of the divine. This act of rebellion is what leads to her transformation into a demoness. She becomes a figure of terror, a demon mother spawning evil offspring. Her story in these texts is a tale of vengeance and spite. It is a chilling portrayal of a figure consumed by her own rebellion. As the pages of history turned, Lilith underwent a dramatic transformation. From ancient myths to modern interpretations, her story evolved. In recent times, she stepped out of the shadows of fear into a new light. The 20th century saw a significant shift in her narrative. She became a symbol of empowerment and independence. This was a stark contrast to her earlier depictions as a demoness. Feminist movements of the modern era reimagined her story. They saw in Lilith a figure challenging patriarchal norms. This reinterpretation marked a significant change in her legacy. From a feared demoness, she evolved into a symbol of strength and defiance. This modern view of Lilith reflected changing societal values. She became an icon for those fighting for equality and freedom. Her story was no longer just a tale of terror. It became a narrative of empowerment, a source of inspiration. This shift in her portrayal showed the enduring nature of her legend. Her story adapted to the times, reflecting the changing attitudes and beliefs of society. This adaptability made her a timeless figure, relevant across ages. The transformation of Lilith's narrative was a testament to her enduring appeal. Her story continued to captivate and inspire, transcending its origins in ancient myth. The modern interpretation of Lilith highlights the complexity of her character. It shows how her story can be seen in different lights. In this era, she is more than just a figure of terror. She is a symbol of rebellion against oppression. This modern portrayal of Lilith is a far cry from her origins. It represents a complete reversal of her earlier image. This metamorphosis of her legend is a remarkable aspect of her story. Lilith's tale, steeped in darkness and controversy, compels us to question the origins of our fears and the stories we tell to explain the unknown. Her enduring presence in folklore and literature is a testament to the lasting power of myth its ability to shape, define, and even challenge our understanding of the world around us. Who was Lilith truly? What does her story tell us about the fears and challenges of different eras? And what can we learn from the way her narrative has shifted over the centuries?